Our next mind mapping app is Inkflow Visual Notebook. Now just like Inspiration, there's a paid version and there's also a free version. There's a lot of different features in the paid version than the free version, but I'm going to show you how you can get by with just the free version. So go ahead and download it from the App Store. Once you have downloaded Inkflow, you've got the Quick Start Guide, which kind of gives you just an overall basic function of Inkflow. You can open that, you can read it. It's more like an advertisement to get you to buy the paid version of Inkflow rather than instructions. But it does give you some good tips. So it will tell you how to go from one page to another. It will tell you how to draw. It will tell you how to zoom and pan, um, to write more finely, to use the selection tool, all kinds of stuff. It tells you how to insert text and photos, what you can use it for, and then Inkflow Plus is the paid version. Right here it tells you the differences between the free versus the plus features. So per book you can only do 20 pages with the free version, five different fonts, in comparison to 50. Uh, you can add photos to both. You've got the pen tool. There is no eraser tool, but I'll show you how to delete that. With the paid version, there's a pencil, paintbrush, highlighter. But like I said, you get further on down, and it's more of an advertisement than a starter page. But for what we want to use it for, the free version will do just fine. So let's go back to the beginning where all of our ink flows are. That's going to be the four squares. That's where all of our ink flow pages will be located. And if we want to add a new one, we just hit the plus button in the upper left hand corner. And it's going to say new book. If I hold it down with a long tap, I can rename it. So I can keep it organized. then I'm ready to go. Okay, so it's a lot different than inspiration. There are no preloaded mind map bubbles. There are no preloaded pictures, but depending on the student, they may prefer this. If you give students the option to use one or the other, some may actually feel a little bit more comfortable using Inkflow over inspiration because it gives them a little more freedom to choose which app they are comfortable with. Okay, so let's start by creating a blank canvas here on Inkflow. And say you want to brainstorm about how technology has increased over time. So what I could do is I could just write technology. Now this is a pretty basic function here, but if you use the select tool, which is the dotted line in an oval up here, and I can circle this. The cool thing about this is sometimes when you are writing, it becomes way too big, and it takes up all the space on your iPad. So the cool thing about this, there is a little box right below the select tool. And if I move this one way or another, I can actually make it a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger and I can change the size of it. I can move it around. So if I want this to be in the middle, I can do that. And then when I'm done, I just click outside of the select tool and it's done. And then if I want to go back to the pen feature. I want this to be one of my mind maps. I'm going to circle it. Now if I want to create a leg off of that, I can. And say I want to write it really big here because it's easier, I can. Go back to the select tool. I circle it and I can shrink it down again. Like always, I can undo something if I click the undo button and I can redo. Now if students are not the best handwriters, they can hit the plus button and they can insert text. So maybe students are writing a paper about how technology has changed over time. They could brainstorm all of this. If you want to edit that text, I can change the size of it again, I can move it. Now I can also take a photo and add it to this and I can also insert a picture. So I found some pictures online that I can add to this mind map. So I'm going to hit insert picture. It's going to ask you if it accesses your camera roll. You're going to allow it to access your camera roll. So maybe I've got a picture of an old school television set. Then when you're ready for it, you can either hit the black and white feature, which will change the color. You can add another picture. 
Let's show the evolution of the cell phone. I can always move these around. I can still change the size of that text. And when I go to this text, I can actually change up here. If it's centered, I can change the text. I can bold it if I would like. I can make it a little bit lighter. Um, and then if I hit the smaller A, it'll make the text smaller. If I hit the bigger A, it'll make the text bigger. But remember, I can always change the size of that. If I, once I'm satisfied, I hit the select tool again. And I can move all of that around at the same time. Remember, I can change the size of that and move it wherever I need to. Maybe I want to do it another leg on technology of the future. I'm going to use that select tool one more time. It's a pretty nice little feature, being able to shrink that stuff down and to move it wherever you need to. I'm going to add a photo again. Being able to shrink something down is very important. It makes it easy for your students to maneuver all their notes around. So then when I'm done and I'm satisfied with this mind map, I can then go back and it saves it. Now remember, you can only make five of these. You just delete the ones that you no longer want. If I want to share this one, I hit the share button and I can email it, I can export it. If you export it, it could export it as a PDF or a JPEG and they can turn it in with a service like Shobi or uh, the JPEG would be more like of a picture. So you got all these different options. If you want to email it as a PDF, you can do that, and then it will create it as a PDF right in the middle there. You can send it to whoever you want. So that's Inkflow. It's a little bit more simple. Uh, the, the select tool allows you to shrink down the text that you write. You can write text. You can add pictures, take photos. It's a nice tool to be able to use. It's something that I think is a little bit more quick, but it still has the same capabilities that Inspiration does. It just doesn't have the preloaded maps and the preloaded images like Inspiration does. You can definitely get by without getting the paid version. Okay, next we're going to move on to Poplet. We'll see you next video.